welcome to APEC Enterprises. Uh, hope you are all in good health. Uh, today I am showing you about a duplex pump, uh, duplex pump working and its uh, program in Highwell PLC. Actually, this pro uh, this video is for uh, one of our followers. He uh, comments me on my previous video and uh, told me uh, he needs some help about the uh, duplex pump working. So I hope uh, I am I I will make the exact program that he required but uh, uh, now i am making a program according to his uh, requirements that he described me in uh, description so let's start with the new program now i have need to select any type of plc that required i will plc i will uh, duplex pump Click on OK. Type the main block, uh, program block name. I write a main. You can choose an, uh, any of your requirement. Now we need to start the program. So Now it's the start button that we required on uh, HMI or a SCADA to initiate this PID. So I start with M0. Now I need a PID block. Now one thing is need to required to fill up this form required for a PID programming working. Double click on this and here you can see the all all requirements that you need to uh, fully functional of this PID. So, first thing is control method. Second is PV. So we need to hardware configure. Uh, we will go on hardware configuration. Here is a one P uh, HMI, and uh, we need to add some analog input module. We will add four channel analog input modules and four channel analog output module. Now, now I select the analog input, the set value, we need to require the set value, its data register starts with V, so you can choose any other, I am starting with 1000. Proportional modules, uh, proportional uh, band, so we need to 1002. Integral value data register V1004 V1006 V1008 V1010 High range of PV low V1012 V1014 1016 V1018 and now the output M100 AQ0 is a directly analog output module. Click on OK and here you configure all the requirements. And uh, when you click on this M0, your first uh, 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 first VFD is in running condition and it starts running. And uh, because it's a duplex pump, so I need a second pump per PID control. So uh, the second pump PID control will work after one PID is not achieving our set point value. So uh, if it's not achieving set point value, then our second pump will work st uh, to start work. So uh, we need uh, to arrange some. Oh, sorry. We need to add one more module. To start with M0 the same value then we need a comparison 
CPM instruction. The first value is AQ0 and the second value is 1000 and next I will tell you why I need 1000 here okay and now I need one M1 uh, M10 when AQ0 and uh, 1000 uh, when AQ0 value uh, greater than 1000 then M10 will operate when equal then M11 operate if less than M12 operate okay now I need to add one more module and it's also start with uh, M0 sorry M11 oh M11 this one now I need uh, another PID We will do same like uh, first PID analog input 0 the set value V1000 1020 because uh, the last PID stops uh, the last PID data register is V1018 and now we will start with 120. Now click on OK and error both programs are configured. Now click on this save button and uh, we will click on this duplex pump and save. Now <coughs> I need to configure our analog inputs and analog outputs. Click on this using engineering station. Our first value you need to adjust according to your uh, pressure requirements. Now I see our, I have a pressure sensor uh, for pumps uh, it's a 100 bar maximum range 100 kg so I need 1000 and uh, for output we already need 1000 okay you can change according to your requirements uh, the output 0 means 4 milliampere and 1000 means 20 milliampere in uh, analog inputs also when he receives 4 milliampere it shows 0 and when it's received 20 milliampere from pressure sensor then it show value 1000 okay save this and uh, now I need to demonstrate this project according to uh, its working so we need on simulation first I need to provide these values for example we need uh, set point it's uh, 400 bar okay and the proportional band we need to click on one for integral also one derivative one derivative time one span always zero pvh 1000 our maximum input value minimum 0 maximum uh, output value the 1016 data register its maximum value is 1000 20 milliampere that's it here you can see here you can see all the data register values are put, uh, put in this okay now I will go on the next PID block and same and do same values integral 1 here you can see the values
data register 24 1 data register 126 1026 1 span always 0 maximum input value is 1000 we need to do 1000 and the low value is always 0 and the manipulated value high limit 1034 It's also 1000 okay now I start this PID click on force our set our pressure sensor value is 0 here you can see our pressure sensor value is 0 and our set point is 400 and our output is increasing here you can see it's our output in increasing our set point point is 0 so now I am increasing our input value to means of 500 12 million pair now you can see it's decreasing here you can see it's decreasing Now I again minimize this value to look below than 400 our set point value. Now you can see it's increasing and our set point value is less than set point value. Our PV value is less than set point value and it's increasing. So our one set point is okay. Now we see. Now we see our uh, second PID is not working because the first PID is already not achieved. When first PID a loop is complete 20 million pair and still we cannot achieve our uh, set point value and uh, PV value, then our second PID will start and increase uh, to start the pump second pump. Let's see and wait. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon button to receive more interesting videos and if you want uh, require, uh, have any issue you can uh, comment me i will make any video for you now you see our the second pid patrol, uh, pid duplex pump will start and uh, it's increasing to achieve this value hope you will get your answer and uh, please let me know in comments uh, otherwise i will make another video for you thank you and don't forget to subscribe our channel allah hafiz